A leaky 10 kilogram bucket is lifted from the ground to a height of 12 meters at a constant speed with a rope that weighs 0.8 kilograms per meter. Initially, the bucket contains 36 kilograms of water, but the water leaks at a constant rate and finishes just as the bucket reaches 12 meters. How much work is done? Well, I'm just gonna imagine what's going on here. My bucket starts down here at zero meters, eventually comes up to a height of 12 meters. So I'm imagining a system like this, and at some point in the middle here, there's been water in the bucket and it's leaking out at a constant rate. So I'm supposed to calculate the work done and I have to realize that I'm lifting the bucket, the water, and the rope. So I need to calculate the work done on all three parts, all three components of this system. We'll start with the bucket. That's the easiest thing to understand because the bucket itself doesn't change in any way. It's always a 10 kilogram bucket being listed, lifted that height of 12 meters. So here we have the simplest case where work is just force times distance. All right, well I have the mass of the bucket, 10 kilograms, times the acceleration due to gravity to make it a force, times the 12 meters. So let's see, I have 10 times 9.8 times 12, and I get 1,176 newton meters, or joules. I could say 1,176 joules instead. I've always liked using the units here as the newton meter, reminding me that I'm applying a force over a distance to calculate work. All right, so now we have the work done by the bucket. Let's see if we can calculate the work done by the rope. All right, well, I need a force function. This is a variable force because there's different amounts of rope out at different moments. When the, excuse me, when there's X, when the bucket's risen X meters, the amount of rope out is 12 minus X. The rope weighs 0.8 kilograms per meter times 9.8 meters per second per second to turn that into uh, newtons per meter and then finally times the length of rope. I can integrate this force function to find the work done. All right, I can factor out the 0.8 times 9.8. Let's go on and find out what that's equal to. 7.84. So now I'm integrating from zero to 12 of 12 minus X, 7.84. Find a nice happy antiderivative. And evaluate from zero to 12. So I have 7.84 times, well, 12 times 12, oop, 12 times 12 minus 1 over 2 times 12 squared. And I could do some of that arithmetic in my head if I so chose, but I get 564.48 Newton meters. All right, so I've Worked with the bucket, I've worked with the rope, and now I need to imagine just pulling the water up. I need to calculate the work done just to move the water. So I need to think about their starting out being 36 kilograms of water and ending with zero kilograms of water at the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think, since I'm, since I'm told the water is leaking at a constant rate, I can use this to calculate the rate of the leak. So I know I lose all 36 kilograms over the 12 meters, that's 36 kilograms per 12 meters, giving me a rate of three kilograms per meter. As the bucket travels up, I've lost three kilograms per meter of the water. All right, so for the water, if I wanted to create a force function, I would have that three times 9.8 meters per second squared to turn it into a rate that is newtons per meter times that 12 minus x. 
So now I can integrate that from 0 to 12. Three times 9.8 and then 12 minus x dx. I'm going to integrate that on the next board over. Uh, when I did this earlier, I chose to factor the 9.8 out and distribute the 3 through. You could also factor the 3 out and multiply it to the 9.8, or you could multiply the 9.8 through and integrate everything at once. Now I just need to evaluate that from 0 to 12. And when you do, you find out that you've done 2,106.8 Newton meters of work just to lift the water. So I found the work done to lift all three components separately. Now I just need to add those together to find the total work done. And when I do that, I get 3,857.28 Newton meters, or I guess it would be probably sufficient just say 3,857 Jewels. And now we found the work of lifting that whole system.